agile evolution. We will walk through major STLC models that were popularly used prior to agile. Keep in mind that I am only going to cover a very few that were the most popular during their times. During the 60s, 70s and 80s, the waterfall development model originated in the manufacturing and construction industries. Here the highly structured physical environments meant that the design changes became prohibitively expensive much sooner in the development process. When first adopted for software development, there were no recognized alternatives for knowledge-based creative work. During the 90s and 2000s, a more mature form of waterfall model was more popular. The V model. The V model is an extension of the waterfall model and is based on the association of testing phase to each corresponding development stage. During the 2010s, the need for increase in speed to market demanded a more flexible SDLC model. Agile SDLC model is a combination of iterative and incremental process models with focus on process adaptability and customer satisfaction by rapidly delivering a working software product. Now in 2020s, we are looking at more mature mutated forms of Agile. Scaled Agile and DevOps have gained popularity. But who will win? Waterfall model. The waterfall model is a breakdown of project activities into linear sequential phases, where each phase depends on the deliverables of the previous one. In this example that I'm going to take, let us consider a project that is due release in four months, and then see how much time each phase typically takes. We start with the requirements and analysis phase where we cover the requirement gathering, architecture and design. It roughly takes one month. And then we move on to the development phase where we cover coding, unit testing, code review and dev integration. It should roughly takes two months. And then we move on to integration and testing where we do the validation activities like QA integration, UAT and regression. It should take about one month. And then at last we move on to deployment phase where we do pre-production checks, production deployment, and any post-production activities. It should take about a week. Today, this is more suited for smaller projects where requirements are well defined. Now, there may be additional phases. I made this look more generic so that you get the idea. I'm not going to make any videos on comparison between Scrum and Waterfall. Our focus will only be on Agile and Scrum. Thank you. The V model. The V model is a SDLC model where execution of process happens in a sequential manner in a V shape. It is also known as a verification and validation model. The V model is an extension of the waterfall model and is based on the association of a testing phase for each corresponding development stage. This means that for every phase in the development cycle, there is a direct association with testing phase. As you can see, the corresponding testing phase of the development phase is planned in parallel. So there are verification phases on one side of the V and validation phases on the other side. The coding phase joins the two sides of the V model. Evolution of Agile In 1985, Hirotaka Takeuchi and Ikujiro Nonaka coined Scrum product development. Takeuchi is a professor of management practice in strategy unit at Harvard Business School. Nonaka is a Japanese organizational theorist. They authored an article, The New Product Development Game, in which they emphasized speed and flexibility for new product development. This article is considered to be one of the roots of Scrum framework. In 1993, Jeff Sutherland used Scrum for software development. Jeff Sutherland is one of the creators of the Scrum software development process. In 2001, the Agile Manifesto and principles were released. In 2002, Scrum Alliance was founded. Scrum Alliance is a member-driven non-profit certifying body in the Agile space. In 2007, Scaled Agile Framework became popular. The primary reference for the scaled Agile framework was originally the development of a big picture view of how work flowed from product management through governance program and development teams all the way to customers. In 